What's up guys, welcome to Triple Trouble. I am here at the Hoyt factory with Doug Denton, the engineer of the uh, recurve bows. And uh, we are going to make a bow from scratch. So uh, Doug is going to explain everything, every step along the way to uh, go from a billet to a bow. So we're in the uh, Hoyt machine shop. One of the first stages of uh, getting the uh, recurve, we actually select our billet. We use a solid billet made out of 6061 aluminum. Take that billet, put it into the machine we have here. It goes through several processes, and in about 50 or 60 minutes, we'll have a fully machined XI riser. So, Doug, this riser is obviously not finished, it's still a bit rough. Um, how does it get from here to uh, production quality? So, what we do is we actually tumble these in a tumble feed, and this is the machine we tumble it in. It has these small ceramic media that will actually smooth out the surface. are now done to go to the anodizer. Correct. Uh, so you're putting them in here? Yeah, so we have a padded protected box. We go four per box. Mm -hmm. And this way, we keep the risers fully contained, protected, so we don't get any of those dents or dings into the riser, which will damage it. Yeah. Um, so it's protect protected while shipping as well? Absolutely. So we seal it shut, and then it's off to our anodizer. Cool. Okay, so these got in from the anodizer. That's right. So we just got these in from our anodizer. So we can take a look at these. Now, every single handle, once we receive them in from our anodizer, gets re-inspected for quality. We make sure that the anodizer has done their job uh, and everything is perfect. So because we don't want to have a riser go out that isn't absolutely perfect for our consumer. So this one's almost done, but it's yep. a bit bare. So uh, yep. I now suggest next... uh, we go to get some accessories to put in it. Absolutely. So the bow is now back from the anodizer, and uh, we're going to put it together. I'm here with Anthony, and uh, you put most of the bows together? Um, yes, I supervise over it. Um, I do have another bow that's extremely well edited. Yeah. Well. So um, yeah. we're going to put all the components on the bow, and uh, Anthony's going to make sure I don't mess up. And, uh, then we're supposed to be done with the bow build, so let's uh, get at it. Alrighty, first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the rear bushing. Okay. So it's the one with the green lock pack, yep. So what you want to do is start with the hand thread in there. Yeah. Until there. Yep, just get it hand started until it kind of bites on its own. There you go. Yeah. You're going to grab that drill right there. This make, one? Yep. Make sure it's in forward. Yep. And then you're slowly going to thread it in there. Hold on the handle. There you go, hit the reverse button. Back up your screen. So there's your bushing. It's installed there. Cool. Nice. Okay, next we're going to do is we're going to install the tiller bolt lockdown bolts. Okay. So, so that would be those two. would be those. So we take this hand tool here. Yeah. And then pull the bow towards you a little bit. Run, this, run the Allen key through there. There you go. And just hold it in. Back it in just a little bit. And twist it. Good there, and then we'll right do the bottom one. Okay. Same process. Hand started. So Perfect. Awesome. You're gonna grab the drill with the same bit and make sure it's in reverse. Yeah. There you go. Go ahead and run it all the way back. I don't want to slam it into the. Yeah, there you go. As soon as it starts, stops. Perfect. Now okay. we turn the bow around. You're going to get this one. You're going to grab the lock tight there. Yeah. And give it one squeeze on top of the front threads, the first three threads. So, so just put it in there and just give it one full squeeze. That's it. That's it. And grab your stabilizer bushing. And then uh, hand start that. go and then grab the same drill same process as the back Perfect. And then reverse there you go 
And next, we're going to put some of the anisees on there, which is the Q-tip right there. Just got to grab a little dab of that. Put a little bit on the top thread there. And then same thing on the bottom thread. Could I, uh, like, wipe it off inside the thing? Yep. Just right at the start of the thread. Perfect. There's that. And then you're going to grab your killer bolts and start those. I sometimes use the tool as well. It makes it a little bit easier because you don't have enough finger room. There you go. I'll just go ahead and stop right about there because we're going to set it. Then do the bottom one as well. How long does it usually take you to... Uh Put one boat it's about in. six minutes from start to finish, from this raw handle all the way to a box. Cool. Yep, and then this is our factory uh, block to set these tiller bolts to exactly factory. Okay. So you'll use this drill right here. And hold this. Hold that, and then just drill it into where it stops. There you go. Do I need to, like... Get it to the lock, or um, nope, you're good there. Okay. You're just put a little bit of torque in there. Actually, uh, you can back it out. Just, just to, like a, you can just flip your wrist with the drill. You don't even need to do that. Yep, there you go. Just enough loose. There we go. Let's flip the handle over. Turn it over. Oh, let's go from the bottom on the oh. top. Yep, invert it. There we go. And we'll do the same thing here. And then like untighten it. It's a tweak, yep, yeah, just, just barely. There you go. Enough to get it out, is it? Maybe just a little bit more. Just one more little. There you go, perfect. There we go. And let's turn it back this way. Mm -hmm. the way and then you'll grab your drill bit. And you'll run the lockdown bolts into the pillar bolt there. There you go. Same thing on the back. Perfect. Alrighty, and we'll just put you back this way. Now you're gonna take your windage block there. And we'll start off with the top one. Yeah. So go ahead and just place that in there. Perfect. And, Drop then, it in. and then you'll take your windage block bolts there and then install those and start those. What's the stuff that's on here? It's a lot. It's kind of like a Loctite just to keep it from vibrating. It's anti-vibration. Okay. So then you'll take this drill. And what I do, this is kind of the eyeball market. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold Put the windage in. block this way. Yeah. And then you're going to run this screw in. Up until it's until in the middle. Until it's in, in the middle, yes. Okay. And it's an impact gun, so it might pop a little bit. Oh. There you go. And then the other side, then this is where you want it to torque in. So just go ahead and pull the trigger all the way in until okay. it locks. There you go. Let's flip it over. Do it on the other side. Now let's brand it. Let's take the Hoyt decal there. And the Hoyt decal always goes on the opposite side of the shelf. Okay. So it goes uh, right goes there. Yep. there. There you go. And now we'll put the model type on there. that we will put the grip on so there's this we just set them down right here pick some stuff out of the way for you just put the handle right here slide the 
drip over that. Perfect. And then the way this works is you just pull this to run the screw in until it stops. Okay. So go ahead and start the screw there. Hold on to the handle, make sure it doesn't flip off the table. And start. There you go. Then there it goes. Flip it over. Finished Built, product. Finished product there, and then we will box it up. Cool. So uh, let's get a box, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> now you take the handle. We want to face it to when the customer opens it up and sees the Hoyt logo. Make sense. Yep. And at this point, we can make a kit, and we throw the kit inside the box. Okay. So there you go. thank you. Yeah, not a and, problem. Uh, yeah, I have a bow now to uh, <laughs> go and shoot. So, see you in the next video for that.